Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I will be posting videos every single week about marketing for your local practice or business and some tips and tricks that we learn from our clients and from our other accounts and the agencies that we work with across the US, Canada and Australia. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to actually review a dental office website, which I mean, I come across a plenty to say the least. So uh, this is for you if you're a dental clinic Richmond Center, please, nothing against you. I'm just putting myself in your prospective patient's shoes and what they will be seeing. So the first thing is, um, when I land on the page, there's a lot of paragraphs and text, which we know through recording uh, websites that people don't typically don't read. Welcome to the dental clinic. Really doesn't, what does that even say? It's not, what, what's your value prop? What is it that you want? What benefit is your prospective patients uh, getting out of your website? It's not there. What transformation are you promising your prospective patients to achieve by visiting your practice? Absolutely nothing. Um, no pictures, no faces. So immediately once I click on it, I probably want to go uh, the the font is too small. We know that larger font actually is uh, in 2020 and beyond is what we've seen works better. Uh, dental emergencies, uh, cosmetic dentistry, and dental implants. Okay, so this is definitely a GP, a general practitioner, a general dentist that does everything. Again, doesn't come across as a, a subspecialized dentist that you know provides something and excels at it. Um, we are your Richmond dentist. Obviously, this is for SEO purposes, but again, uh, the copy could have been written better. Welcome to the dental kit at Richmond Center, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, nobody's going to read this. I know some of it is SEO uh, related because you want, you know, some content to, to, to start getting ranked, but you can get ranked, but nobody converts and nobody calls you to book an appointment. There's absolutely no point of, of doing that. So you have to be it to a copy that is SEO optimized is a skill that a lot of SEO and marketers don't know how to, um, you know, do. And I can share some examples of uh, you go to our website, stellarmarketing.io. You can actually see how we've incorporated certain keywords into our H1 tag, H2 tag that we want to rank for. But at the same time, we want to provide value and showcase the work and the transformation that we're able to achieve from clients signing up with us. You want to do the same thing with your homepage. Again, really this page looks like it's from 2010. Um, pretty old, old looking uh, book now. Again, it's too small. What do I do? Where's the call to action button? It's not above the fold. You want it above the fold. Immediately call now, book now, schedule online. Just one huge button you can add to if you want them to t take two different actions. But basically you want a call to um, to action button above the fold. Uh, this is too small. It's not even clickable. A lot of people click. Uh, we know that most people visit websites for, from mobile devices. This is not even clickable. So they have actually to copy this and paste. Nobody's going to do that. Um, search. We found this. Honestly, it's not necessary to add search. People don't typically search, especially local businesses and local practices. So that's up. That's all about the landing page. Absolutely no character. I don't know what makes them different. It looks pretty blunt in my opinion. And sorry, uh, Richmond Dental Center. About us, let me click on about us. Our dentist and office policies. Okay, about us, obviously they have this one, which is, okay, let's see our dentists. Hopefully I'll see some faces. And of course I don't. <laughs> so the about us page, people wanna actually see your Base as a hygienist, as a dentist, as a dental implant specialist. Okay, Dr. Chowdhury graduated from UBC. Okay, okay, great, but I need to see their face, maybe even a video that actually showcases how they talk, how pleasant they are, their demeanor. All of that is um, you know, important. Their tone of voice, their tonality, all of that can can be addressed in one large video and you can have your your entire staff members this doctor also can be included yeah there are four doctors i don't know who's who the font is so tiny there's no images again really doesn't stand out at all and the font like i said is too small i don't know if they're sub specialized i don't know nothing um so again really i 
don't see um, definitely I'm assuming they have low conversion rates unless they're you know celebrities uh, services okay let's see gallery because that's important because a lot of people click on the before and after but I like to use before and after even click here to view the smile gallery okay okay that's good but again I like to showcase, to show the face if you can, if you can get a consent from that patient to show the face is what I typically say. They're too tiny. I'm not sure if they're uh, mobile um, optimized. Again, this is dental implants. You can organize. This is everything for everything. You can have a smile gallery and then you can have a one for dental implants, one for Invisalign, especially if you're a GP who does everything, one for uh, veneers and one for sleep apnea, for example. This shows everything, and I don't know what, what, what did this patient do. I don't even know. So again, you can add a short snippet of what you did to that patient. The before and after, before the patient suffered from so-and-so. It's like a, every some everything that you show is like a case study. The before, how they felt, their condition, and then you can add a verbatim from that patient, and then the after. If you can add the face is typically what I recommend, but again, most practices, dental practices have pretty similar. I don't even know if this is their actual uh, work, to be honest, uh, or just like stock photos. <laughs> uh, doesn't really entice me. doesn't tell me anything about the doctor. No videos. Again, I like to some video testimonials um, of that, you know, story, patient journey and what they went through. Uh, there's uh, Golpa by um, Dental Implant Center. They do an amazing job documenting patient journeys. I don't see that here. So again, not really something that I like. Most patients are not going to appreciate that unless maybe emergency dental. They probably go for for the first one. Uh, let's see cosmetic dentistry. I'm intrigued to see what they, this practice has. This is in Richmond, you know, British Columbia, Canada. Wow. So this is the image that you're going to use, a you know, a typical generic image that doesn't show anything. Okay, the procedure, teeth whitening, all of that zoom. I see that you added FAQs, but doesn't even you can't even tell that this is a frequently asked questions. Um, again, cosmetic dentistry could be veneers, could be this and that. You can have sub, you can have subsections within this page, which will actually get you higher because the larger the website the easier that the the ranking on obviously uh, Facebook we know that and the more content you add to the website the more authority you get from Google so unfortunately this website is the whole the whole entire website needs a complete uh, overhaul book now let's see hopefully this one is clickable no it's not it's not clickable fill in the form below okay verification okay pretty old looking to be honest no direction contact us and no direction no address yeah they have it here at the bottom but they also need to have it here and have to embed google maps so that people can actually see let's see if it's actually um the last thing if it's um mobile responsive so let's see inspect and as i suspected it's not even mobile responsive <laughs> Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see the gallery of what that looks like on mobile because 60 70 percent of people will actually find you on mobile first. Oh my god, this is horrendous. Like, what kind of tiny image is this? Sorry, uh, nothing against the dentist, but you really you can't see anything. It's not mobile optimized. It's 2020, almost 2021, and you have a website that's not mobile responsive. Man, you're losing on so many prospective patients that could be paying patients by having a non-mobile optimized website. So this is it. This is a review of a dental website, uh, and this is what you don't want to do. Thank you for watching this video, and like I said, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'll be adding more videos, and thank you for watching.